Hey, my Soul Tribe family, or my channel, my YouTube channel. Um, sorry, my Soul Tribe family, my subscribers. I'm doing this on Zoom. I was going to do a live, and oh my God, you guys know me and technology. I just, can you figure I used to work in IT? Figure that shit out. But anyways, they keep changing on me, and, and I don't know how to use the new live, so I've got to figure that out. Anyways. I'm going to be doing a reading today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I know there's something here for you, so make sure you subscribe and like. And I'm going to be doing um, Twin Flames Blocked in Communication. We're gonna take a look at where the masculine energy is in, in, at where they're at right now. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know I always have a special place. Sorry guys, I'm just already bringing in the information. Um, Okay, so the group of masculines that I'm channeling right now, what I'm really feeling is that, um, oh, we have somebody here. <laughs> so uh, what I'm feeling right now in regards to the divine masculine, what's happening right now are they're taking baby steps. There's a lot of baby steps that are happening right now. So I'm going to pull some energy and see where the divine masculine is happening, what's happening. They're integrating. Thank you, Spirit. They're integrating the, uh, yeah, they're integrating everything from Scorpio season. So this is the time between now to 2020 that I'm getting is that it's an integration process. So this is going to take a little while, oh, just a little bit. So let's see where the masculine energy is currently at for the collective spirit. What is going on with the collective for the masculine energy in regards to ghosting? Why are they ghosting and why is there no communication? Thank you. Where is the energy of the masculine right now? Why are they ghosting and why is there no communication? So the first two that came out, we have perfection. Oh, wow. So these masculines really do not want to come in until they are really at a place of alignment that's perfection to them um we have heiress war and they're in a battle right now so they're not in a good place what i'm getting from these masculines is they're definitely not in a good place well, are they ever in a good place but they're not in a good place they know that well they're also fighting like does my feminine want me to be completely in a place of perfection and they want to be fully in alignment as well they don't want to yeah, they don't want to come and bring baggage. That's really what they're feeling. So let's get some headspace. Where is the masculine right now in regards to no communication? Why is the masculine having no communication? These are my chakra cards. Why is there no communication right now? Thank you, Spirit. Why is there no communication right now with the masculine? Thank you. Why is there no communication? Why are they feeling there's they're at war, they're at a place of perfection? We have one. Well, they know they want to be of service, so that's for sure. And they're dealing with ego, so vanity. So they're still dealing with a lot of ego. Let's see what the ego is. Let's see why they're not communicating. What is the ego? What do I want, Spirit? What do I want? What are you pulling me towards? Okay, let's do these ones. What is this ego here, Spirit? Are we doing these ones? A soul urge. Sorry, guys. I have so many cards here. So <laughs> I'm not in my dining room. I'm in my where I do my reading. I just finished a reading, and so I thought I'd come on live, and then it just didn't work. And I'm like, what? Okay, let's see what is going on on the soul basis, please, spirit. What is going on here? Why there's no communication? What is their ego that they're dealing with on a soul basis? What is this? ego why are they stopping them from coming forward thank you why are they not coming forward why are they stopping thank you thank you spirit why are they not coming forward oh wow so these sets of masks are having health issues okay so some of them may be having um i'm feeling mental <laughs> not meant like you know it's just the stress but i also feel that some of them are actually having other physical ailments that are starting to manifest in this toxicity thank you spirit and spirit is also saying a lot of them their their health almost has to fail you guys to the point where they can't um keep up with this fight they can't keep up with the fight 
the fighting and the ego anymore. They can't keep up with that. They know that they need to be in alignment. They're also fighting with themselves about perfection, what that means to be of service and how to come towards the feminine. But it's a lot of their ego stuff in regards to health wise. Like why are they um, now their physical, it's manifesting in the physical and they're like, oh shit, like my health, there's something going on with my health now. Let's clarify that a little bit more about the soul urge and being of service for it. Yeah, see exactly what I said. The health is going to bring up growth. Okay, so there's definitely going to be growth that happens here out of these health issues, okay? So these masculines here, whatever is happening, usually I feel they're not in such bad health, but something has really triggered them. And it may not be anything like threatening, but it's definitely something. Let's get deeper. What's causing these health issues, Spirit? Spirit says we are going to take reversals, so we're going to take reversals. This is for twin flames in no communication, blocked and ghost for spirit. What is in the mindset of the masculine here? And why are they, um, yeah, so they're pulled back because of their health. They're trying to get in alignment with that. They know that they need to be in alignment to come to the feminine. So let's clarify here what is going on in regards to their ego and their health issues. Um, yeah, thank you. And why they're not coming. Is this why they're not coming forward? Yeah. Wow. All right, so we've got quite a few things that have popped up here. So what we've got here is, yeah, they don't have the courage, the strength. We have the strength in reverse. We have the four of cups upright, okay? And in this one, the four of cups is like someone has died, okay? So whatever is going on right now, this is the death of the ego. That's what is clarifying here was the vanity card, right? This is death of the ego that's happening, that's, that they're at war with themselves, okay? Um, so they're not communicating because they're really going through a lot of this, um, health issues sitting here, death of the ego, dark night of the soul, basically. Okay. We have the eight of swords in reverse. So they're having an awakening process. These masculines are awakening and it makes complete sense. You guys like from Scorpio season and now like we're, and we had like five planets in retrograde. Okay. It wasn't just Mercury, and then we had the 1111 portal, and then we had um, full moon in Taurus, and so there's a lot of things happening in the world right now, in the, in the cosmos, and so we have four of swords in reverse. Yeah, they're waking up, okay? The health, it's, it's causing their growth, right? It's causing the growth. So their health issues, they're waking up, they're realizing that they got the five of pentacles in reverse as well. So five of pentacles, four of swords, they want to come out from the cold. They have an internal change. We have the chariot in reverse. They can't physically move, but they had an internal perspective change, something that's happened within them. So what is the change that's happened, Spirit? Now that they're having those growth, because they're growing, they know they need to be of service out of this pain, okay? What is their growth? What is their, what have they, what, yeah, thank you. What's come into their conscious, Spirit wants to bring through, what's come through their conscious awareness? Yeah, what has come through their conscious awareness right now with this waking up from their ego? What is it that they, they're actually aware in regards to how they're going to communicate and what their divine feminine? What are they aware of now? Whoa. Just fly off the table. <laughs> Healing, we have the star, right? They know what's destined. They've woken up to it, okay? They know it's destined. But they're still blocked in their feelings and they can't move. Okay. We have the eight of wands in reverse and the king of cups in reverse. Okay. So blocked feelings, they still can't move, but they know this is destined and they need healing. It's almost like they need to come to the feminine for the healing, but let's clarify a little bit more. Like, why are they so blocked if they know this is destined? Why is that spirit? Can you clarify? Like, why are they being stubborn? Because they got unfinished business to do. We got the world in reverse. Sorry, guys. There's a glare, and it's really late. It's getting dark here, and yeah. So it's uh, the world in reverse, and the emperor. So they're rising into the emperor. They're taking control of their situation. They know that they have unfinished business to do. What is this unfinished business, spirit? They want to rush forward and finish. They want to hurry it up. They don't want it to be uh, very long. Let's see. Let's see. What, what are they finishing up here, Spirit? What are they finishing up here? Wow. Well, they know they're going to have to reject somebody. Yeah, passionately reject. Okay, I feel like if they're dealing with karmic situations, they have to um, deal with rejecting somebody else. 
and um, to move towards their passion. And if it's not a karmic situation, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying that they have to look at the rejection from the feminine to move towards their passion because this rejection is hitting hard. So the re rejection is playing in both realms. And Spirit is also saying there's also a third situation where feminine has rejected because of third party. But let's clarify, is there a third party here, Spirit? If there's a third party, what do, what do you want me to do? Yeah, okay. They want me to go to the numerology for some reason and use a different deck. So I'm going to do that. So what is it that you want to, um, yeah, they want, Spirit wants, to clear, wants me to clarify the rejection here with the passion. They're saying this is uh, why they're, ha the main reason, thank you, Spirit. They're saying this is the main reason why they haven't been able to come forward at all. Okay. A massive rejection in self that they're going to be rejected passionately by the divine feminine. Um, rejection. Wow. Wow. Rejection from, from the karmic. So they don't want to be alone, right? So they, they're just having massive rejection. Um, and that's why they're stuck. And that's why they're not communicating. Let's see about this rejection. Spirit wants to bring this through. Yeah. A, oh my God. Seriously. <laughs> they don't want to be rejected by a spirit they've got the spiritual partnership moderation and adventure so they're trying to be like on the fence moderation you know people sit on the fence oh no you can go that way okay oh i'm not gonna agree to disagree and that's what they're doing they're trying to take everything in moderation they know this is a, a spiritual partnership they know it's an adventure they know it's going to but that rejection they will not be able to handle it how is that what's happening in their soul spirit let's clarify with the rejection what's going on the soul urge with the soul yeah see they're having major trust issues Whew. so it's trust it's trust it's uh they're not trusting themselves they're not trusting the connection they're not trusting the happiness here they feel happy when they're with the with their twin but the trust is not there they're so afraid of this of this rejection all right let's Let's clear this up. Let's ask some more. So let's see how this mask, how these masculines. Okay, let's just move all this. Yeah. Let's see how all these masculines, this mask conscious of masculines that are coming through. Let's see what they're thinking of the divine feminine. Okay. Let's see what they're thinking of the divine feminine. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna sort these. It's live, so I can't cut the video. <laughs> In case I want to use them again, I have to like, I have so many different decks, but it's like, I don't know if I can go and buy like double decks. Like, I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I should. I think it's coming to that point. Um, all right. Let's see how they feel towards the divine feminine. Okay. There's an Oracle here. Yeah. Let's do the romance angels. Let's take a look. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. First, we're going to do a comparison. We're going to take a look at how they feel towards divine feminine and how they feel towards karmic. Let's do that. So, romance angels, let's see, Spirit, what is going on for divine masculine? How are they feeling towards the divine feminine at this point? And how are they feeling that they're not communicating? How are they feeling that they are completely ghosting, no communication? How is that weighing on their heart, Spirit? What's going on here? divine masculine how are they feeling towards divine feminine right now with no with no communication seriously reconciliation so we're gonna go deeper it's like okay they want a reconciliation but they're not communicating so let's go into that a little bit more we have past life relationship so definitely there is a strong pull here okay because you've got a past life here and that could also be karmic situation because you can also have past lives with everybody, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean just the twin, but this is towards the feminine. So they are feeling a strong pull that I'm asking about. Anything else, Spirit? How are they feeling? Religious factors, okay, came out as well. I feel I have to do one more. Two more came out. They want to make the effort because they realize that they deserve love. So this is how they feel towards the feminine energy, okay? They're completely feeling it. They know there's a past life. They know that this is a spiritual connection, okay? Completely aware. They want to make the effort because they know that they deserve love. I feel like using the past tarot, the before tarot. So let's do that. 
So spirit, they say that you want they want a reconciliation. Why is there no communication? Asking that if they're ghosting. I mean, we know that they're in pain, right? These masculines, they're in pain. They are really working through a lot of their karmic issues. They're having growth, they're integrating, they're having health issues. It's happening, something is happening. So let's clarify the reconciliation here towards the feminine. They want a reconciliation with the feminine. We're not taking reversals for this one, guys. That's what it just told me. And one popped up here, the star, again, the star. They know it's destined, the star, the strength, death. Holy major arcana, you guys. Death, star, strength, okay? The knight of swords, okay? The four of swords. So they're resting here, okay? And this is transformation. See all the little butterflies? I don't know, my lighting is so bad, guys, sorry. There's butterflies that are right up here. So they want a reconciliation. They're resting in their transformation right now. The major arcanas that came out here, I mean, we have three major arcanas. We have the Knight of Swords, so fast moving energy. They want to quickly rush in, but they know that they have to put an end to things. That's why they're holding back. They haven't tamed the ego yet. See, this lion is still like pretty much roaring up a storm, right? So they know that they have to end things because we have death. I just saw a spirit go up. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? That was cute. And then there's like a star here, which they haven't quite balanced that energy yet. So they haven't even put their feet in the water yet, right? Because this is the before tarot. So they know that they need the healing. They know they need to end things. And they want to, yeah, reconcile. So what I'm feeling is like, I feel that they come towards the feminine. It's, I feel it's a protective measure. I feel that it's, um some of them yes they're in pain but there are other situations that i'm getting is like they want to come really clean because remember we had that with the with the um the war they're at war with things but they also want perfection right and that's what when you're an old soul and you're a twin that's what spirit is saying is like you want things to be aligned and pretty much healed they don't want to go through pain and crap like you do with a karmic so that's why they want to make sure that they come really clean. So let's see about past life relationship, how they're feeling towards the feminine here with this past life relationship. Well, we've got the emperor that came out, the knight of wands, and the king of pentacles. So lots of kings here. So what I'm seeing, when I see knights and kings together, I really feel that that's a maturing process that's happening with the divine masculine. Passion, um, grounding the passionate action into the emperor energy. Okay, and this is what they've learned from past life with the divine feminine. They've recognized this connection. This is clarifying the past life relationship. And because they feel that deep connection with the divine feminine, what's happening is that they want to be grounded, they want to be rooted, and they want to passionately action this, but they have to come into this, you know, um, emperor status. Now, the emperor here is uh, got a goat, a baby goat on the top there, you know, so the baby goat is not mature yet right so coming into this status though right they know this is a spiritual connection towards the feminine yeah but they're blinded to their option they have no idea how to come towards the feminine right now with what's going on in their life like you think of it they're at war within themselves especially about this connection okay they're blinded to the options they are not seeing a pathway in their current life and how to move forward at all and so what's happening here is, yeah, they want to leave. We have the um, four of pentacles with the eight of cups. So they want to leave. They completely want to leave. They want to walk away. He's drinking from his own cup. He's like, I got to give myself a drink first, okay? I haven't left yet. I've got to give myself this love. They know this is a spiritual connection. They know, and that's what they're hanging on to, you guys. They're hanging on to the fact that there is, this is religious factors are affecting your love life. So it's either with, if they're in a karmic situation or people around them, that there's not that support spiritually. And they know that they have that with their divine feminine. And that's what they've been clinging on to because they're like, if anything, this is feeding my soul. And that's, you know, that's pretty big. That's pretty big, right? That's feeding my soul. And that's why they're, they're hanging they're clinging to that. They're hanging on to that. Clarify the Eight of Cups here that they want to move towards the feminine. Clarify the Eight of Cups here and what they're hanging and hanging on to this connection here, the spiritual connection. Yeah, we have the 
10, is that the 10? Oh, that's the nine of wands. And sorry, I don't read these. I don't know Roman, Roman, Roman numerals. And this is the seven of pentacles. So they're waiting because they're still battling here. Okay. See the wolf is coming out here. So they're still completely battling. They're still feeling very wounded. They don't feel ready for, for much more right now. Okay. Um, and they're saying that they deserve love and they want to make the effort towards the divine feminine. Let's see what that was. That's so they pulled back. And the hermit is a good card, you know, you guys. The hermit is a good card. The hermit is about going within and feeling all of those feelings and realizing I do deserve love. I need to make an effort towards this because I do deserve to feel, you know, and have this type of connection. Um, we have the seven of swords. So seven of swords can always be deception, but I'm not feeling deception with this. I'm feeling that it's a strategy that they're trying to figure out a way because to be deceptive, and thank you, Spirit. Spirit is bringing this through. Like if they're dealing with a karmic, what's happening right now is you can't, you gotta be deceptive, right? It's not that they're trying to be deceptive to the feminine. I feel they have to go within and they're trying to strategize, trying to figure out something and how to come forward, right? So they're trying to, <laughs> yeah, deceive the karmic or figure out a way to slyly, you know, move or put a plan together that is, that's going to make everybody happy. Let's clarify the seven of swords, please. Why is the seven of swords here? Because I don't feel it's a dishonesty thing. Yeah, it's the it's the two of swords here, right? They're at a crossroads with the truth, with the truth of everything, and that's causing a lot of upheaval in their in their life, right? They have to go within. It's like, okay, so I'm at a crossroads. Obviously, this divine feminine is here. So, uh, what do I do about that? Let's get some moonology cards here. I love this deck. So Spirit, if we can get a time frame or anything else in regards to the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine right now, in regards to blocked communication and how they feel about communicating, you know, even sending a text or doing something just, you know, how are they, I mean, I feel like what I'm getting is like they're, they're, they really want to come in because we keep, uh, this is the second time I think we've got the Knight of Swords, right? So they want to come in, they want to communicate, they want to rush in, but they're holding this back. They ain't going to be able to hold that much longer. I really don't think so. But let's see. The Moonology card spirit. If we get a time frame for communication or in regards to communication towards the feminine. Thank you, spirit. What is going on here? Okay, we've got three. Wow. See, they're not going to be able to handle this. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries, okay? This energy is building in them, okay? They cannot, um, look at this. The energy is gaining momentum and adjustments are required. The waxing moon and the third quarter moon, okay? So what I'm getting here is this energy is building up. They're, they can't handle what's happening in their life right now. Their health is, uh, Their health issues that are showing up. They are feeling this divine feminine. They want to rush forward. They want the reconciliation. They know they deserve love. They want to move forward, but the, this, and it's building, it's gaining momentum. So it's going to be like, bam. And they know that they have to make adjustments. And that's why I saw the seven of swords. This strategy that's happening. They're at a crossroads. They know that they have to put a plan in place. I feel like pulling some numerology cards. So just clarify a little bit further, spirit. I'm going to take a look and see what's going on with the karmic situation as well. I'm going to actually um, do a relationship spread. And we're going to take a look at their relationship. We're going to get a little busy. We're going to take a look at the relationship. Look, we might as well, right? <laughs> okay, so we're, let's take a look at the numerology here. Yeah, again, health. You guys, I can't make that up, right? Health. Health is a huge factor that's happening for these divine masculines right now. Something is going on with their health. They, they're sick, you guys, something is happening. It's imbalanced because they, they're holding it all in. They can't handle this, okay? They're having pride about this, creativity and patience. They're trying to come up with a creative solution, solar plexus, self-esteem, and how to, you know, strategize how to do this. They're having way too much pride. I mean, this is part of their ego, right? That they want to be perfect. They want to be this man that they come in. But it's like when the, when I feel these masculines come in, they're going to be humbled and broken. 
and some of them may have massive health problems, you know, um, not like life threatening, but issues like, um, you know, like just things that they may have to live with or like diabetes or something, you know, that they're going to have to live with for the rest of their life or, I mean, diabetes, I think is curable, but I just came to my head, but something like that, something that they, you know, uh, maybe uh, a strain on their heart or high cholesterol or something health wise that, that they have to have patience with right now. Um, so yeah, a lot of health that's coming through. Wow. Okay. Take a sip of my smoothie. Well, let's look at what's going on in the karmic situation because what I'm picking up with these masculines and the majority of twin flames are in, are in karmic situations. So like, let's just be real <laughs> like they are. So, um, because that's why you're in separation. There has to be karma between twins or, you know, if the karma was clear, you'd be together. So, and there's karma on both ends. So let's take a look and see, we're going to do a relationship spread. I get to see what's going on between the karmic and why there's no communication because I feel that that's a big part, obviously, of what's happening there. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look in the book. Um, let's use after tarot. Thank you, Spirit. This is the after tarot now that we are using. What is going on with the karmic and my masculine that is hindering communication? being blocked towards the divine feminine place spirit what is going on here thank you oh my god i keep seeing like the five of swords the five of wands like it's like coming in it's like this this car keeps fighting with them and they can't handle it like something is in their life like they just fight it's like an internal battle that's happening what's going on between the karmic this is for all my youtubers thank you what is going on between the karmic and yeah yes and the masculine twin flame thank you thank you okay so the bottom of the deck this is the overall energy we're not going to take reversals we have the eight of swords trapped okay completely trapped um yeah and this is thank you spirit spirit is saying this is the divine feminine on the inside they're feeling the divine feminine and they want to come in they're feeling it on the inside that they're trapping they're trapping her on the inside like because they're feeling the divine feminine and they're feeling the feminine energy and they're like they're completely trapped and they want to come and like release that from the inside that's their feeling they're like i need to come that's what they want the knight of swords keeps popping up in my head i want to move forward i want to come i want to communicate oh i can't i need to and it's that's what's causing the health issues it's like you know when you can't follow your truth you know you feel it on the inside and you just can't do it i mean that's hard when you know that's your truth in that moment then you can't follow it um it's caused that's what's causing the health issue so they're feeling completely trapped that's the overall energy between the karmic their connection right now and their relationship is a hangman so no movement in gaining enlightenment out of the situation okay top of the card the masculine for the situation is he wants a new beginning okay karmic two of swords okay that's how they're viewing the situation Okay, how do my masculine is feeling right now in the situation is five of pentacles. Okay, completely left out of his relationship or the karmic situation. Um, for the karmic, how they're feeling, judgment. They want to renew, they want a reconciliation with, with the masculine. Actions that the masculine is taking towards the karmic, ten of swords, guys. See, I feel these last ones are going to end it. I really do. Because they're like, and, and this has been coming through the readings a lot. Okay. Even in my personal readings, it's like, they're going to end it. They're going to end it. Um, and again, guys, you got to realize like, it's just the energy that's playing out. We have to realize it's not physically being manifested, but if the momentum keeps happening this way, I, that's how you know it's going to physically manifest. Okay. Five of Swords for the Karmic. Okay, so the Karmic is uh, actioning, fighting. And I saw the Five of Swords. I was seeing it. She's fighting. Ah, like I can see it. I was like, I seeing it. I'm like, the Five of Swords is here or the Five of Wands as well. Like, I, I'm just like, she's just fighting or they're fighting or the Karmic situation is fighting. Can be a heat too, right? The outcome that Divine Masculine wants is the Divine Feminine, Queen of Pentacles. 
okay? And the outcome that the uh, karmic wants is the Knight of Cups. She wants an offering of love. She wants like the masculine to fawn at her feet or fawn at their, his feet or whatever, right? Um, let's clarify. We're gonna use the, we're gonna use the regular writer way. Oh, what happened to my radiant deck? I wanna use my radiant deck. I like the pictures better in this one. Things are getting a little ragged. Had them for so long. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, what is going on here? We're gonna take reversals on this one, guys. What is going on here in regards to the karmic and the divine masculine? Thank you, energies. We're gonna take the bottom deck, uh, two cards again for the overall energy. And for the connection between the karmic and the masculine. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on between the karmic? Thank you and the divine masculine, whoa, that just flipped up. The tower, the tower just flipped up. Okay, awakening, things falling apart. I mean, yeah, it's happening, guys. We can't trust the physical, eh? We gotta keep going by the energies and then don't attach the energy. It's like, okay, that's where the energy is right now. Let's move forward and then check in again. And be like, okay, yeah, I was feeling that. And then it confirms your feelings about things too, right? So use the readings as a way to validate within yourself what you're feeling. It's like, oh, well, damn right, I was feeling that. I was feeling this, like today, I was feeling, I was feeling so conflicted today, you guys. I went to the gym, I did whatever, and I'm like, there's something in the collective. I can feel it. Balance, okay, in, the, uh, in this entrapment, okay? So they're seeking uh, reciprocity, how to balance. How to you know work things out? They're juggling here, right? The hangman is uh, clarified. They're both hung about juggling the situation. So they're at a stagnant place. It's not equal balanced energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles again on the bottom here. Okay, so definitely divine feminine making an appearance in the karmic and the divine masculine's reading. Let's take a look at the uh, the fool here. What is going on with the fool? Because divine masculine wants a new beginning. And a new beginning, it doesn't mean like it, 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 a new beginning with a karmic would be great. You know, if they've got kids together or, you know, if whatever that is, that situation, let's start fresh in a different way, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, this is Divine Feminine Energy. So we have the Queen of Cups, which I consider Divine Feminine with the Three of Wands in my general YouTube readings. Um yeah, and so they want to move forward. They want a new beginning with the Divine Feminine. So that was clarified. They want to move forward with the Divine Feminine. And the Karmic is feeling that because they are at a Two of Swords. Let's clarify the Karmic energy at a Two of Swords at a crossroads here. Bum, bum, bum. What did I say? The Five of Wands and the Tower again came out. So that's definite clarification. Things are falling apart in the marriage. If they're in a marriage okay or the mother is whatever i've had a, i had a client whose mother was really like jealous it was really weird and um anyways like things like that you know it could be any but the karmic situation like they're, that relationship's falling apart and they're fighting okay so i also had one where um there were two male uh twin flames and the the masculine was the more feminine one and oh my god anyways um, I'm not gonna go into that. I don't know why I brought that up, but maybe that's for somebody out there who's ma who's masculine is if, if you're in a same sex. But there's something that's falling apart here that the karmic cannot handle. What is falling apart? Let's clarify. What's going on? No karmic situation. What's going on with the tower? You poor baby. I'm sorry. I love my twins, karmic, but it's like <laughs> sorry about it. I own the power, so. <laughs> um. Yeah, they're heartbroken, right? They're having a lot of apathy, you know? Let's give them the compassion for that, the karmic, you know? They're still humans, they still have feelings, but you know, you're you're with my twins, so I, God made me for him, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's basically, you know, apathy, they're heartbroken, things are falling apart. Here, the divine masculine is completely in an abandoned place, okay? Let's clarify for the mass consciousness here, sir, bring, bring that down for the five of pentacles. Thank you, the page, they want to action this passionate offer and move move on. What do they want to offer here? They want to offer something to the karmic. What do they want to offer? Well, two of cups. Well, they're focused on this. So they want to offer 
something because they're focused on a relationship. So they are, and they feel completely left out. And what I'm getting is what they're feeling left out. They're feeling left out of this. Thank you, spirit. So some of them, thank you, spirit. Some of them are in marriages. Okay. And are trying to work out this relationship and focus on this and trying to action towards that because they feel left out, but that's where the health issues are coming up. Okay. Let's clarify that. Can you clarify that scenario, please? Because there's another scenario that's coming through. Yeah. But see here, as they're moving forward, what that spirit is saying, their intuition is pulling them in another direction. There's unknown factors here. So if they're trying to move forward, they're, the unknown is going to keep coming out. Clarify the unknown. Yeah, and it's going to make them want to walk away. That's what I was feeling. So the other scenario when it's with the divine feminine that they want to action towards a relationship with divine feminine. Can we clarify that with the two of cups here? For those that are not dealing with somebody that's in a karmic situation oh my god ten of cups guys that they want to be single <laughs> they want to be independent in this king of wands energy and ten of cups in a relationship actioning that and moving towards divine feminine okay so they feel abandoned there's two scenarios that came through because those that are dealing with marriages and things like that um children and all of that that they want to come through um they want to give to this connection you know, and they want to plan to move forward, but there's unhidden things and those unhidden things are coming up that are going to make them walk away. Okay. It's kind of needing that little extra push. Everybody else, it's like they want this, they want to action this relationship with their divine feminine for the 10 of cups because we have the emperor here with the nine of pentacles. Okay. Which is like independent energy, single energy, um, being ready to move into the 10 of pentacles. Right. Okay, but the karmic situation, they want a reconciliation. So we have the seven of cups. So they, uh, they want a reconciliation, but and they're looking at different options how to do that. And they're really confused and they're being very manipulative about it and strategic about it. They're not being so strategic, but they're being manipulative about it. Yeah, so I don't feel that's gonna fly with my masculine at all, okay? So the action that divine masculine is gonna take towards the karmic is the ten of swords let's clarify that they want to end things they want to end things for a new yeah because one flipped up here thought i saw one maybe not this one i saw one um they've become illuminated to this new passionate offering that this universe is coming giving to them coming and giving to them okay so they completely know that they become illuminated the situation that they need to end things especially for their illumination and their passion okay um and that's what they're actioning they're going to have to action it because of their health let's take a look here because we've got the five of pentacles with the karmic they're actioning fighting <laughs> like yay let's just fight <laughs> they're fighting you know i mean honestly if somebody doesn't want to be with me i'm like okay good luck have fun love you bye like, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight if that's your choice, right? Yeah, look, karmic energy fighting because she's stalking. This karmic is stalking the divine feminine. That's what I feel. She's looking at internet. She's looking at, she's, she's, yeah, she's like checking up on his phone or checking up whatever she's doing. She's being manipulative here. She's being deceptive here because we have the seven of swords as well. That's why she's trying to, you know, yeah. She's what I feel is like she's looking at, you know, things that the that the twin the, the divine feminine is doing and then trying to be like the divine feminine. <laughs> it's for some of you guys. I don't know where that came from, but I feel like yeah, because, okay, so Spirit is bringing up the scenario at the gym today, like, I was getting, I finished working out, I was, work, I was getting dressed, and there was this girl who reminded me of my twin's karmic, and she just boasted in there and just tried to take up over the space, and I'm just like, seriously, like, you're moving my shit out of the way, and she played in her country music or whatever, and I'm like, I'm listening to, um, mantras. <laughs> I'm just like, who is this man? What are you doing coming in? And it's like, she wanted my energy. That's the energy that she wanted my energy. She don't like that I was there. I was singing. I that's how I am at the gym. I sing. And I don't care. And I was just in my own zone. And she just came barging right into my space. And that's what I feel like. This energy spirit is bringing that up because it's like this karmic is like looking at the divine feminine and stalking her and being like, well, what does she have? Well, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna be like that. And oh, she's like, oh, she's got 
you know, she's doing her hair like that. Maybe that's what he likes. I'm going to go do that. Like stupid shit like that. That's what she's trying to manipulate the situation somehow. Cause she's in massive conflict. She's fighting. I keep saying she, because I feel like that's the majority. Yeah. The lover, she's trying to make a decision about this connection, clarify the lovers. She's stalking this, um, oops, five of swords. Wow. Five of swords, clarifying five of swords. Universe, you're hilarious because we had the after tarot, right? With the radiant, like seriously, seriously, seriously. That's hilarious. So yeah. <laughs> Outcome that divine masculine wants is the look at this empress on the bottom. And I'm about to clarify this. So divine feminine wants the divine feminine. So I know they're not in communication, guys, but that's because look, there is a lot of hidden things that the divine feminine doesn't know about that they have to end. Okay, they're using their intuition, but they're they're really in a dark place and they're really trying to end things. Okay. That's what he wants. He needs to end things for the to be with the divine feminine. Can you clarify that a little further? Yeah, that's why they're withholding because they're trapped. They're trying to gain the courage to come forward. And they're not feeling well either. There's there's stuff that's happening in their health, right? We'll pull some oracles on that too. So let's clarify the Knight of Cups here for the karmic. Yeah. So this is the karmic here. <laughs> the devil with the hanged man constantly apologizing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I think I what I'm feeling with this karmic, like, I don't think they're evil or they're like bitchy. They're causing conflict. They're doing conflict in a very mischievous way, in a passive aggressive way, you know? You know, like those competitive mean girls? You know, like mean girls? She's like a mean girl. She's a mean girl. And and I keep getting that energy. And I know it could be a mean guy. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. My logic, like, I'm just channeling what past I'm seeing the situation because I'm seeing a woman in a kitchen being, um, you know, just mean, just in a passive way. And the masculine is like, did she just cut me off? or you know like very like and so that it's toxic it's keeping them trapped and so what's happening is here you know they're they're hung back they're completely hung back and what's happening is here like they keep apologizing they keep saying they're like i'm sorry i didn't know i was doing that i'm sorry i didn't know i'm unconscious to that i didn't know that this is what what's happening and that's what the karmic's doing to the mask you know trying to um offer them the love because it was clarifying the outcome that they want here is that they they are clarifying this so i'm just going to mute you sorry just give me a second because i feel i'm just going to make sure that the mute is on for everyone okay um so yeah i feel like this the karmic here is that's how she that's how the karmic is playing it out it's like i'm offering this love but look how much love i give you like that like that means anything right like well i'm being good to you i'm doing this i'm cooking dinner i'm doing all these good things you know i'm sorry like apologizing i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't know that this is you know that whole thing and then they're manipulative and then they're doing like very unconscious energy right and it's keeping and, and they're playing in this toxicity it's a codependent pattern right if you look at codependency they're always in a over pleasing right um, let's see how masculines are feeling about it. how's masculine feeling about that devil energy there that codependent energy um, because what these masculines really like about the divine feminine is like they are um you know, look divine masculine is sad because he's like i'm done i gotta go i gotta get in my boat and leave we got the six of swords with the five of cups and they're sad because they have built something with this person and i don't feel like this karmic is like evil i just feel like they're completely unaware completely unaware so yeah so that's the karmic and the divine masculine let's pull some oracle on that and then we're gonna wrap it up with some conclusions about no communication but let's take a look at what are you pulling me towards here spirit oh yeah let's do those cards let's do the earth wisdom cards can you please mute your mic or your phone please i don't know who 217 is can you please mute your your 
speaker with the phone, please, so you can just listen. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at um, the Earth Wisdom. So this is the overall energy of the healing. So we're saying this is the healing energy that's coming in for the karmic and the divine masculine and what spirit is working on with that connection so that, because they know they're helping the divine masculine in this, okay? Because they're having health issues, right? So this is what, this is what spirit is saying is what they're doing is helping this, this, uh, this situation. Okay, we've got three. Oh God, we've five. No, we've got six. Okay, we're gonna try that again. It's just one or two spirit would be great. Okay. Wow. So, spirit is bringing out the truth. Okay, the truth of the situation. They're bringing out the truth slowly, and and the divine masculine is going to have to speak his truth. Can we have one more? Can we have one for specifically for the karmic? Specifically for the, oh, well, creativity. They're, they're thinking up all kinds of ways to keep this masculine, right? So Divine Masculine's going to have to speak truth. He's going to be pushed to speak the truth. And uh, what's happening here with the karmic is like they're, they're trying to be creative and deceptive and different passive aggressive ways to keep the masculine. All right, guys. Oh, let's see if we can get some more information in regards to the divine masculine, divine feminine, and his actions towards divine feminine in communicating. Let's see if we can get a timestamp on it. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to use my, oh, you know what, I feel like using my right. I like using the radiant. Arrow. Let's see. Spirit. There you oracles. Yeah. We'll do the oracles at the end. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So let's take a look here in regards to Divine Feminine Collective, please, Spirit, and Divine Masculine, and the actions that the, that the masculine wants to take towards Divine Feminine in regards to no communication and no blocks. Thank you. In regards to no communication and no and blocking and ghosting, um, what is going on here for Divine Masculine towards the feminine? Thank you. In regards to not teaching her, not saying anything, kind of leaving her out in the cold. Like, what the hell is that? You know, saying, I'm going to call, and then what? I'm going to, we can need to work this out. No. Oh, there, they're gone. Why is that happening, Spirit? Why is that happening? What is his actions towards that? How is he going to resolve that? Well, the card is stuck in here from the other deck, which is the five of swords again. It's it's stuck. It's stuck in the deck. I can't with that five of swords. Guys, just know they're fighting. These karmics are fighting, right? Fighting with the masculine. So let's take a look here. What is going on? What are the actions the divine masculine is taking towards the feminine in regards to no, and you know, no communication and being and blocking? One just few just came out. We're taking upright. We have. Oh my god. They're patiently waiting for this relationship. We have seven of, and defending it, seven of wands, seven of pentacles, and the two of cups just flew out. So what I feel here is that what I said at the beginning, I feel these masculines are protecting the feminine, okay? It's like, I want to come perfect to you. I don't want you in this drama. I don't want you in this, but this is not good because they realize that it's not fair either, right? They have a lot of stuff that they're working through. So we'll put that back in the deck if it comes out, but let's let's take a look a little more. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. We're going to see what's going on here with Divine Masculine and his actions towards Divine Feminine in regards to no communication. Oh, all right, guys. Thank you. Well, they're in a place of, sorry, that was from the other deck, Five of Pentacles. Where's all the fives? When I see fives like that, guys, it's change, 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 change. Massive change happening. Oh my God, what is going on? I cleared that deck really good. Okay. Sorry, guys. There were a few that, that were stuck in there and I didn't even realize. Can't think we're good. Uh, we have Ten of Wands was the first one that flew out. All right. What is, yeah, their actions towards divine feminine. Thank you. Actions towards divine feminine. Actions towards divine feminine. In regards to no communication. Okay. The death just flew out. So we are going to take that one. Okay. 
So we have the Ten of Wands, okay? We then have the Seven of Cups. We then have Strength, all right? We also have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Temperance. And we have Death. So Spirit is saying we're going to take their six, so there's three and three. So I take them in the order that they come out. So we have Ten of, Ten, Ten, of course, Ten of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of burdens that are here before they can offer something very stable and financial. Uh, and they need to end family. So they're dealing with family and they're really, they got to deal with that before they can even bring into the feminine, into this new family, okay? And to create a family and to do all of those things together. Um, we have here seven of cups with, with temperance. So this is really confused about their situation and really trying to look at different options and how, hold a high regard of patience um, and holding that place of like, Temperance is beautiful. It's like compassion and a deep place of like this knowing and this just peace. And they're really trying to hold that throughout the confusion. And I feel like they're doing that not just for themselves, but for divine feminine. Okay. They're withholding right now because they need to end things. That's come out before guys. Right. So they're really trying to hold back, tame that lion so that they can end things properly and come right. They want to come right. So that's why they're not communicating. Let's clarify a little bit. Clarify the 1010 10 here, the 10 of wands with the 10 of pentacles. The fool, they really want a new beginning. Okay. So this new beginning is, you know, saying that they've got burdens here. They're frustrated. They're really at their end. And tens are like ends of cycles. So the burden with their family life, with the karmic situation, or even their stability, whatever they're struggling with financially, some of them could be having money issues. We know health issue is an issue is a problem. They want to drop these burdens before they start fresh. Okay, that's why they're not communicating. We also have here seven of cups with temperance. So they're they're trying to hold a lot of peace, you guys. We got the four of cups that just came out in this in this confusion. Oh my god. See? They're trying to hold, but this is what I was channeling. They're trying to hold they're trying to hold. This seven of cups, right? In the confusion, holding this beautiful space of compassion and kindness and peace so that they can, you know, they know the feminine feels that, okay? They're trying their best. I mean, they're confused here, but we've got the four of cups, right? They, they're having apathy here. They're trying to either just pull back. They're trying to really work with what they're, what they're working with right now in regards to, you know, what they've lost, what they're losing. So with this two, with this two of cups, Okay, so masculine energy is really just really holding a place of trying to be, you know, calm, trying to be patient, uh, trying to work through this confusion, meth you know, methodically. And what's happening is here, like they know what they've lost, right? They also feel like maybe that they know that they, they're losing something here, you know, if they're dealing with a karmic, you know, family and things like that, that they're losing these things. And, um, they can't look at what's being offered by divine feminine right now because of, you know, like we said, health issues, things like that, that are coming up. And so the truth, but they know the truth of this connection. Okay. And they're trying to hold that space. And that's what divine masculines do. They hold that space because masculine energy has to be able to like, I mean, come on, divine feminines. We got like massive energy surges in our emotions, right? So they got to hold that space. Right. So divine masculine energy right now is really withholding. Okay, holding the strength before so that they can end things in karmic situations. Okay, let's clarify. Well, the star, the how many times has the star shown up tonight? Right? Three times, three times a charm. So <laughs> they're they know what's destined. And that's three major arcanas, you guys. Strength, death, the star. Like that's beautiful. So that's they're withholding, they're protecting the feminine. They want to come right, right? They want to come aligned, they want to come. You know, and I really feel like I said this before and I'm spirit is saying a lot of them are going to be super broken. They're not going to be able to be that strong masculine that, you know, that feminine's desire. Oh, look at my warrior man that's doing this. Like, it's not going to be like that. They're going to be broken and vulnerable and they're going to need time and nurturing and patience. They're going to want to be held and, and, and taken care of is because the star is here. Very healing. You know, they're going to yeah, because when they end things, it's going to be a little rough. Let's clarify a little bit deeper. The star here with death. Can you clarify that, please, a little bit more, sir? 
Yeah. King of Wands again, guys. So passionately moving towards this. Anything else? <laughs> the Eight of Cups again. That showed up like what? Is that two or three times now? So King of Wands, passionately going to move on, okay, and move towards Divine Feminine. Wow. Okay. That was, that was really good. So let's take a look at, I feel like I need to pull some more Moonology. And then I feel that, oh yeah, let's do the Soul Urge. The Soul Urge for the Divine Masculine. Let's do that to wrap it up. And then the Moonology. And I got to go pick up my son. He's at a friend's place. And I got to go figure out what, how I'm cooking for dinner. I don't know what to feed these children. Seriously, every day it's a pain in my ass. Seriously, I got to get them to start cooking. Okay, let's see here. What is going on with our masculine hair spirit in regards to the soul urge, in regards to no communication, blocked? And it could be divine feminine too, that's being that's that there's no communication in this connection. But let's take a look at the soul urge for being blocked and the growth that's happening here. Just to wrap it up, spirit. Thank you. Wow. Well, that was interesting because it fell like this on either knee. So that's like totally balanced. Left knee, right knee. So they're trying to balance their feminine energy because it was on my left knee. Okay. Masculine's really kind of come into a place of balance. Right for masculine on my right knee was happiness. They know they need to balance this for happiness. What about communication spirit? They got to get honest. Okay. So honesty here. They've got to come into a place of acceptance of this connection, acceptance of where they're at, their health, right? We have the health card that flew in a few times. Some masculines are really having health issues and really looking at, you know, how to be honest and how to accept this connection and how to move forward towards it and how to be honest and not just towards divine feminine in their current situation, where they're at right now and accepting this is what's happening in my life right now because remember we have the five of swords come up a lot with karmic situations like fighting 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 right and that conflict is how is causing health issues that's half that these masculines are like okay i this situation is causing a lot of pain i have to be honest and i need to accept whatever is going to come out of this situation and i know it's hard it's hard to hurt people it's hard to like end things it's hard to move away from things and these masculines are really asked for, like, it's altruism, right? This altruism is what Spirit is saying. Alt, like, altruism is like, you're balanced in every way. Your health, your physical, your mental, your emotional, like, spiritual. This is twin flame stuff. Like, this is like, you can't miss anything, okay? Like, I thought I didn't have codependent issues and Spirit's like, yeah, so when you got to cut out sugar, Arena? I'm like, are you kidding me? Okay, now I'm on a cleanse. Like, just, <laughs> just ongoing, right? All right, let's take a look here. What is going on, Moonology Spirit? Some final messages here for Divine Masculine in regards to communicating with the Divine Feminine. Give us some answers here in regards to communicating with the Divine Feminine. Okay. So we've got a few cards that came out here, and I feel I need to take them. We've got four. Okay. And this came up before, okay? A fiery climax approaches this came up before right remember what i was saying the energy is building up in the karmic situation it's like they are not going to be able they're going to break they cannot handle it a fiery climax is about to happen okay it's time to take action so when this climax happens i feel they're going to get communication so things have to completely break right now okay they know that they have to show the world their real selves Okay, because whatever is happening in the karmic situation, it's a facade, right? It's not real. It's stuff that we've been conditioned with. That's where the that's where the foundation has been built up to. So spirit is saying here, you know, they're realizing I have to show the world who I really am. Honesty, right? That's what this honesty was here. How to be really honest in their life, right? And look at this, the South Node. Do not let your past hold you back. Okay. So divine masculines are really looking at past life, things that how they built up their life in the in the past. What's happening now? The the pressure is on for them to take action, for them to communicate. And I don't want. I mean, I'm just gonna ask because I want a time frame. <laughs> I 
because I'm such a nosy burger. <laughs> Okay, one more square. I know, you know, I, they probably won't give it to me. They never do. They know what I get like this. Like, I will sit there and I'm like, come on. And I'm like, oh, fine, until I give up. So it's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Can we get a time frame for communication, please, for the collective? Thank you. Can we get a time frame? Okay, a whole bunch of popped. I'm going to take these ones. They're like, remain positive and reconsider if you believe. So basically, they're not giving me anything. They're just saying, Believe that they're going to communicate, go on with things, reconsider this connection, remain positive in this, and allow things to just flow. So, all right, you guys, that was the reading. I'm going to put it up right away. Thank you for joining me. It's awesome. And that's it. So much love to you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.